What is up guys? Welcome to the BMX News Channel, or the BNC for short, where we talk about everything in the freestyle BMX community. As you guys can see, I've kind of been changing up the studio a little bit. I just have this visual that plays while I talk here. It's just me this time. Chris is not with me. Hopefully he can be with me next week or something, but I'm just taking on this episode by myself this time. So last week we talked about changes in the industry, Scotty getting his forehead back in, and Montana Ricky getting on the Merit BMX team. This week we actually have so much stuff to talk about, I have no idea what to do with it. If I don't actually work at this episode, it could actually get an hour long. So I'm going to have to try to tone down everything going on in BMX this week. You know, we are the BMX News Channel, and this is what we want to specialize in. I can either compile everything into these weekly episodes and or bring you specific news videos very often. Just let me know how you guys want it. I don't know if you guys want me to just come out with all the news once a week in one long episode or if you guys want me to frequently upload individual videos for each. So just go down in that comment section and let me know how you guys want this news to be. Anyway, news, let's talk about it. We got a ton to talk about. First, let's talk about some parts and things in the industry going on. Word on the new Subrosa big bikes have surfaced. Subrosa BMX are coming out with the new big bikes. They're kind of like road cruisers. They're single speed road cruisers. They're really nice. They pretty much just released word to them. To the they look pretty sweet. Let me actually pull up the names of both of them right now. Okay, so far guys, I only have information on two new Subrosa big bikes. One of them is called the Rixa UTB, and the other one is called the Aero, E-R-R-O. These two bikes look pretty sick. They're single speed road cruisers. From what I've read online, from the research that I've done, they're basically designed to get you from point A to point B really fast, really conveniently, and really comfortable. So they're not really designed to be a trick bike. Probably can. They're going to be to that standard, and they're going to be strong enough that you probably can. But what they're designed for is comfort and getting from point A to point B. So follow Subrosa and be on the lookout for the new big bikes coming out here really soon. Also, Haro Bikes just released Dave Mira's signature tribute bikes. These things are pretty awesome. Dave Mira is, uh, for some of you younger guys, you might not know too much about Dave Mira, but Dave Mira was a guy that really... Uh, influenced me to get into BMXing when I was really young. He was one of the guys that I mimicked. I went out and I built dirt jumps and I really just tried to mimic a lot of things that I saw him do in the X Games back when I was a kid. So those are a couple new bikes coming out. So next up we got a couple parts that are going to be coming out or not released yet. I'm just going to kind of fire them off really quick because I don't want to make this episode really really long. We have the new Odyssey Travel Tool. This thing looks pretty awesome. I cannot wait to get one. I'm actually going to get my hands on one. Odyssey makes some really good parts. Personally me, uh, uh, you know I hope this doesn't reflect the channel, but me personally as lad, I like Odyssey parts. Odyssey parts are pretty awesome. So when this, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the travel tool and see how that is for you. It looks pretty awesome. Comes with a 17 millimeter socket. Looks like a 15 millimeter wrench and Allen keys. So it looks like it's really gonna be awesome. But the one thing that's weird about Allen wrenches is if you have anything that's profile, profile is made in the United States. So they don't take metric sizes. So a lot of multi-tools have metric sizes and they just don't work on something like a profile stem, which is kind of a bummer. But you know, we make do with quality parts. We got the new Animal Inverse Top Load Stem. Now, animal stems are kind of like an iconic stem. They're very, very popular. When I was growing up, it seemed like everybody, every pro that I saw in videos had a, I think it was called the Animal Jump Off Stem, if I'm not, if, if I'm correct. But yeah, they have the new Animal Inverse Top Load Stem, which, which is looks pretty awesome. It's, it's a lot similar to the stem that I ride right now. And as you can tell in the top, it looks like they made it to where the cap can recess into the top. So it just has this really nice clean look and then I don't know if that's a laser etched animal logo on the side but it just looks pretty awesome also we have the new Eclaw Storm fork the new total Spitfire rims 
These new Total Spitfire rims are kind of getting into the wide rim market. I'm not sure exactly how wide they are. They're like 33 or 35 millimeters wide, but they're getting in along with the, the kink and the federal rims that are really wide. I saw the federal rims on somebody's bike when I was in Ray's, and they looked pretty cool, but it was a little awkward to see how wide the rims are, so you guys should just go check them out. You got the new Courage Adams Signature Geo Frame which is kind of like a, it's definitely a street derived frame. Courage Adams is one beast of a rider. If you guys want to go see some of Courage Adams riding, go check out his new fly bikes video called Canarius Cruising. He's got this huge bar spin in there, huge bar spin banger. It's just pretty awesome. You guys should go check out that video. One thing that I'm really interested in, and I'm definitely gonna have to buy one of these for the whole crew is, we got Scotty Kramer's signature snafu sprocket. I cannot wait to get one of these. It looks pretty awesome. It's uh, definitely in jet fuel or oil slick, whichever you want to call it. Snafu has the jet fuel color. That's the name that they call it is jet fuel, but I'm not exactly sure which which color this is, but it's definitely spline drive like the picture I'm showing you guys. So that'll automatically go straight onto my bike because I have the premium 1948 spline drive cranks. A lot of people really like that color. It's kind of like a 50-50. Some people hate it. Some people like it so much that they just want to have a whole bike like it. Harry Maine. <clears throat> Logan Martin. Someone in my throat. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Sorry, guys. To say, yeah, but the colors, if you guys notice, uh, Frostbike was going on uh, last week. Frostbike, and there was a lot of crazy colorways spotted. BMX is kind of going into this really crazy stage where they're just exploring every single color option out there. It's getting really, really interesting. It's like almost you would think that everything had been explored by now, and then they come out with a new colorway, and it just blows your mind. Also, I can do a video on the Neo Chrome because I know what that is. It's actually just a two color chrome process. So I know why it actually drives the price up of the parts because to actually get that color and that finish on the parts, it actually costs quite a bit of money. But yeah, we have Eclat. Eclat has a new satin oil slick, which actually looks pretty cool. It's definitely a different kind of oil slick. It looks pretty awesome. It's definitely a change from the normal green and purplish purplish blues that you see with the normal oil slicks and then BSD has the new stainless finish I like BSD BSD is a company that I've really started to become liking lately uh, last year they had the BSD Raider frame that had the NASA logo on the front and then they have the BSD NASA rims which is actually pretty cool um, you know for my next bike that I want to build I'm getting ready to build myself a new bike and I wanted it to be a themed bike and I'm definitely trying to search those parts right now to do a themed bike for you guys on the channel which is going to be really cool so that's just something coming in the future. Let's talk about some edits. You guys got to go see Eric Elstrand's Madeira video. He's probably got some of the craziest bangers in there. Some of the weirdest moves. You, you guys just have to go look at it. It's pretty awesome. You got the new Devin Smiley dance comp video. A couple of his clips from his last dance comp video. I think it might have been 2016 or 2015 maybe. Those clips are in our Best of BMX Streets episode 1 with Devin Smiley in there, of course. So go check out his new 2017 dance comp video, which is pretty awesome. If you guys didn't know, if you guys are just new to us, dance comp is actually just a few miles away from where we're at. We actually took a trip to dance comp. So uh, if you guys want to see what dance comp looks like, I'll put the link down in the description to that too. And everything that we talk about, all that stuff, the links to all of it will be down in the description. So whatever we talk about, in the order we talked about it, in the video, just go down, search it up, click the links, be able to go to all these sites and check all these things out for yourself. Cause that's what we're here for. We're the BMX News Channel. That's about all we have for this week. I tried to make it quick so it wasn't really, really long. I'm gonna try to keep each one of these videos around 10 minutes or under 10 minutes. Gonna try not to make them really long, but I'm going to try to make them jam packed with a lot of things that you guys can look up and geek out on in BMX every single week. Also, let me know how this looks. I don't know. I'm thinking about getting a couch. Whenever we're doing a BMX weekly where we have like a group of people or just me and somebody else, it might be nice to have like a couch here where we're just kind of like kicked back, hanging out and just talking to you guys about what's going on in BMX. If you guys like this video and you want to see more like it, go down and hit that subscribe button, like, share this video so somebody else can see it. Tune in next week on BMX Weekly. Go down, tell us how we can improve anything that we can do to make things better. So yeah, next week we're going to have a lot of stuff we're talking about again. 
So let me know what you guys think about all this stuff we got going on in here. Get in on the conversation down there, and I will see you guys next week. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you made it this far, you are awesome. We have a lot more content other than these BMX Weekly episodes that come out. So why don't you go down, watch some of our other videos or something, and we will catch you guys next week for these BMX Weekly episodes. Peace.